We are here at the Flamingo House with artist Ben. I'm here at his studio and we're going to learn a little bit about what he does. So right now I'm working on what I just call heavily textured art. I've been working a lot with texture obviously lately and I just like had an idea of doing something for some odd reason to kind of resemble like Nintendo games. Something simple, basic. Nostalgic. Because minimalism too is kind of a thing now where mm -hmm. very calming and basic, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing here. So how did you end up here in Boca mm -hmm. at the Flamingo House to have your studio? So I was doing live painting at a local farmer's market mm -hmm. and Amber, who runs the Flamingo House here, she started explaining the vision about creating this kind of arts district mm -hmm. in, in this spot and just bringing that artistic warehouse feel mm -hmm. to Boca. We wanted the Flamingo House to be in a warehouse industrial chic area. We found Rock Urban, jumped in our car, came here and was like, this is where we want to be, this is the vision. We want to have art walks and have com community events and we want to have other creatives gravitate to this industrial warehouse district. And we, we want murals, we want to just have this very creative community. The Flamingo House is a co-working space where we invite creative entrepreneurs to work under one roof. With that comes just a big sense of collaboration and helping each other's businesses thrive. So what's interesting is that we're kind of a hidden gem off the beaten path. And here we have from a jeweler to a furniture, create a furniture place with mid-century furniture and artists and co-working space and brewery next door. It really is at Rock Urban and the Flamingo House a really cool creative community that's going on here. And it's something that's different. It's in Boca Raton and it's edgy in the pink city. People don't don't get that this is this is happening in Boca Raton.